Hey everyone, what's going on? This is uh, our Semi here. Uh, today I'm bringing yes. you a guide on how to jungle with enchantness. Uh, it's gonna be a greedy build, so we are gonna start immediately and go for Hand of Midas. Uh, we will bind Gloves of Haste and yeah. basically nothing more. Uh, ability which you will need to use is Enchant, is the second one. And I'm that one actually on. gives you opportunity to get a creep from jungle under your control, which could be really, and will be actually, really helpful in this guide. Now, otherwise, you can Enchanting. use that on enemy heroes, and it's gonna slow them. Um, exactly on first level 20%, and on fourth level 50%. Uh, and yeah, and duration is actually 80 seconds for creeps, and slow duration is 5.5 seconds. So, as I said, this is a greedy, a greedy uh, build, uh, item okay. build, so if you're playing with your teammates, I shouldn't really recommend going for this, you should probably go and do some support stuff uh, before you actually uh, get your Midas. I will try my best here to uh, do this really as fast not? as I here can. I uh, Midas should be somewhere before 6th or 7th minute Spring. at most, uh, really depends. So yeah, we have a couple guides already on channel, so check them out if you want, uh, if you want, uh, especially yeah. jungling guides uh, for Nature's Prophet, for Ursa, and for Lycan. Even though with uh, unnerved uh, wolves, I did manage to make a solid guide, which was helpful for really a lot of I people, go. as I could so, as I could see actually. So You're first mine. creep which you see in this camp, just grab him Stumbling and. On. Try to clear this camp as soon as you can, then immediately go, go for the small one. As I always, uh, your goal is to clear this small camp before one minute mark, if you can, of course. It's gonna be hard this time, but trample you. we can try to stack actually, but sometimes it's really hard yes. to succeed in that with this small camp. This time you're fine. On the wild track! So use stun when you can, of course. Hi, tailing it. It's gonna buy you some time to clear this camp as well with this creep. Mana should be really a problem, but could be. After all, you never know. Uh, camps are completely random, so you can't always uh -huh. be safe that you're gonna actually manage to clear every single camp every single time again. How enchanting! And this troll creep is probably After the best. Him. Probably is the best one for jungling. Hey, I'm a predator. You can summon those when you choose that uh, troll Spike. creep. So it's really helpful. We will have that camp spawned again, so it's gonna be with skipping grace. Really helpful. Skip ahead. Let's go immediately. Now we can actually summon. And we will do that. Uh, we will get that Charmed, I'm sure. that one under our control, and then we will go on the other Spike. parts of this jungle. Uh, later, we, you will see you can actually from here get one creep and clear that camp, then go here, clear that camp and gain experience. Yes. And that does really does improve your jungling, and it's gonna be much uh -huh. more faster. Don't forget to use actually those. Uh, skills from your, uh, from your, oh, damn it, from your creeps. <laughs> Always, when you can, make sure to use them. There they are. Uh, so far, so good. Seven hundred gold. We're halfway. It should be fine. You're going for first two uh, abilities, actually, to make them out. Untouchable is the first one, Spike. and it's passive, so... Even if you're a new player, you shouldn't really have some problems. Let's make sure to spawn those always. Those small skeletons. They're really powerful, even though they're really small. This is fun. That doesn't change the fact that they're really helpful in early game. While you're in jungle, as usually, make sure that one always stay alive. It's gonna Come be extra on. damage for that camp. It's a hop, 
skip and a jump. Okay, 1000 gold. We are really, really close to our Midas now. Mm -hmm. Now we are gonna do this. Actually, I don't have been to that everything, so... You're mine. But, there Aaron's we go, basically. Out. We can clear that camp without going all the way around. He said that small camp shouldn't be a problem, so always use those skills. And when you let one summon your skeletons. After. I don't know, in my opinion, Shatness is actually the easiest hero to farm with. Uh, beside Enigma, of course. Enigma is also on. really easy. I don't really see way how how to fail Enigma in jungle. Nimbly, I'm sure I will get well that one as well. Uh, five minutes, well, it's gonna be somewhere between five and six minute mark. I'm gonna make sure that my courier is in base. On the wild track, your middle tower is under attack. Okay, and Midas is here. So probably your next thing I'm gonna get that, uh, that one as well. Uh, probably next item which you wanna uh, get even if you're on public. Uh, don't just attack. rush Aghanim. Uh, I mean, you can get boots and you need to get boots anyways. But your choice is do you wanna really go for uh, full threads or just boots and With then uh, go for Aghanim uh, when you already have stats from those threads. Yeah. It's totally your choice. You can't really go wrong with that. Unfortunately, I need to check 15 seconds yeah. for. I need to check 50 seconds for my Midas for another camp to spawn. Uh, it's definitely your choice, in my opinion. You should go for threads if you have quiet and easy uh, jungling Let's period without anyone making trouble for you. But also, you can go and get point booster uh, after your uh, regular boots and then just. Continue your agony, and after that, you're basically unbeatable if you succeed to get that. And you should be able to succeed in that somewhere between 20 minutes and 20 minutes at most. So, in worst case, you, you should probably get kill or two, or maybe some assists, which uh, will be uh, really good for you in terms of experience at least. And yeah, when you have uh, untouchable, even on level 2, but with level 3 and 4 it's gonna be Your easier to come those attack. creeps even uh, without sure. even without uh, having, having creeps. Down. So, that creep isn't really helpful, but since we, we're kinda... At the okay. end with this guide, uh, there is nothing more which I could give you. Uh, tips or anything yes. about You're this. Mine. This is basically everything. The hardest, pa the hardest uh, part is already over. So you just need to repeat those things, and you should hey, be completely fine. Stacking. When you get like, um, when you get like, um, wow, don't remember the name of that creep, but basically when you get couple creeps like this and one more bigger creep. Uh, then you can go and push towers in bot lane if you're in your jungle or top lane if you're in uh, dire on their side. So your that should be attack. basically everything. There we go. I'm gonna this actually we actually are going to clear this camp as well. But uh, Midas summer about five, five minutes. Uh, now I'm even going a little bit slower than usually. Get him. But it's still fine. 50, 52 creeps. It's not that bad and. You Gambling don't on. really should. You shouldn't really watch uh, actually how many creeps you have are you in jungle. Jungle creeps um, doesn't really yeah, give you gold and experience uh, as experience as much as you can get in in lane. And yeah, I didn't use Midas, so uh, basically you got the point. Uh, that should be everything for enchantness. Make sure always to mm -hmm. uh, that your that your presence actually can be felt oh, in lane in your safe lane and you can help your carry to farm Attack. and push when you need to push so yeah basically that's this everything there we go I'm gonna clear one more camp Nimbly and we I have go. our threads as well but that should be basically a little bit faster than now you. now we're kinda slow 
I didn't use my decent time. I was concentrated on my explaining, even though hopefully at least I explained everything fine. But there we go. It's our threads. Uh -huh. Now you go in lane, you start pushing, and while you're doing that push Let's and race. probably getting one or two towers, doesn't even matter, you're gonna be able to get your point booster and from them yeah. it's kind of obvious and really easy to get your agony. So thank you for watching guys, hopefully I did help you uh, with enchantments in jungles, if you have any questions or any suggestion about this guy, feel free to comment down below in the comment section. And yeah, thank you for watching one more time.